Hello and welcome to this edition of Open Heavens Reflections. Thanks for joining us. I thank God for this opportunity. And um, my name is Fuike Christina Tolani. I'm a pastor with Christ Love Assembly, a parish of the Redeemed Christian Church of God in Oxford. I'm excited about today's topic. It's Christ in you. Christ in you. Our Bible passage is 1 John chapter 4 from 4 to 6. You are of God, little children and have overcome them. Because he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. They are of the world, therefore they speak as of the world, and the world hears them. We are of God. He who knows God hears us. He who is not of God does not hear us. By this, we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Our memory verse is taken from Colossians chapter 1, 27. To them God willed to make known what are the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Our reflections. He who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. Can you comprehend that God himself lives in you? If you truly have an understanding of this fact, you will not be scared to share the love of Christ with others or do great exploits and things for God. No, rather, you would walk with authority, laying hands on the sick and casting out demons. You would also understand that where Christ is, there is no sickness, which is why your body is completely healed. Any symptoms of sickness are trespassers in your body and they must live. Hallelujah. All you need to do is exercise your rights and walk in the authority that is yours. So no matter what situations you are facing, whether it may be physical, mental, spiritual, emotional, financial, or whatever it may be, God wants you to see yourself the same way he sees you in Christ Jesus. When Christ dwells in you, God looks at you and sees himself in you. Amen. God wants you to be old Jesus, full of his amazing grace, and be transformed from glory to glory. My prayer is that you'll be transformed from glory to glory in Jesus' mighty name. The book of 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18 says, And we all with unveiled faces, beholding the glory of the Lord, are being transformed into the same image from one degree of glory to another. By beholding Jesus, the Holy Spirit transforms you. And as you are transformed into the fullness of Christ, you exercise your faith, believing that you are healed in all areas of your life, knowing that all is well. And also your victory is in Christ Jesus, who is the hope of God's glory. So arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. The book of Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1. Jesus is your identity before God. So also live as Jesus lived in addition to, you know, standing up, believing in him. You need to also live like he lived in holiness and unspotted from the world. Because Christ is in you, the hope of glory. 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 19 says, or do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have from God, and you are not your own? So let us live our lives unto God and walk in this knowledge that Christ is in us and we are more than conqueror. Amen. Our prayer point. Father, let the eyes of my understanding be enlightened to comprehend and experience the reality of Christ in me. May you also be filled with the virtue of Christ, the one who carries the unquenchable and unparalleled glory in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you as you walk in this knowledge. Bye for now.